Republicans are absolutely furious over the appointment of a new special counsel in the Hunter Biden case. Why are they furious? Because they got exactly what they wanted. Wait, what? Last September, a group of 31 Senate Republicans asked specifically for Trump-appointed prosecutor David Wise to be appointed to oversee the probe into the president's son. Uh, at the time, in the letter, they said it was to provide additional assurances to the American people that the Hunter Biden investigation is free from political influence. Which, uh, it's not. <laughs> but uh, the influence, by the way, political influence, is from Republicans. Uh, now, that said, Weiss had already alleged the investigation into Hunter Biden's business dealings, which began under President Donald Trump. So now on Friday of last week, Attorney General Merrick Garland decided, hey, uh, Republicans, we're going to give you exactly what you want. OK, you've been complaining like, oh, where's this? Where's where's the special counsel for the Hunter Biden stuff? And he's like, all right, fine, fine. Uh, he named Weiss special counsel, which gives him additional powers as he investigates the president's son. So now you would think again that this is exactly what they wanted because it's exactly what they had asked for. But no, moving the goalposts, of course. So let's start with uh, the reaction here. This is uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, who again had previously asked for Weiss. He told News Nation, quote, this is a political decision by the Biden administration to fix their political problem. I think they poured gasoline on a political fire. You know, by, again, giving uh, Republicans exactly what they wanted. Great. That was your guy. That was, that was your pick. That was the, somebody that you argued for. And then you got it. <laughs> Senator Chuck Grassley, while he is happy about the, uh, you know, special prosecutor one just being appointed, he did say... Quote, I have some questions about Weiss doing it. Oh, okay. So, hey, he's like half happy. He's like, well, at least there's a special counsel because, uh, you know, the Hunter Biden stuff is the most important thing that we could focus on right now. But no, but we didn't get the guy that we wanted. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to get into why Republicans don't like him because there's a reason. Uh, now, before I get to that, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy went on social media suggested that the appointment could be used to, quote, whitewash the Biden family corruption. House Judiciary Chairman, uh, Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan then told CNN, quote, David Weiss can't be trusted, and this is just a new way to whitewash the Biden family's corruption. So again, two different uh, Republican politicians, pretty much the same talking point. So they all got it from essentially the same place. Um, but let me ask, I got a question here. Whitewash the Biden family's corruption, how? Exactly. There's a special counsel. It's literally what you asked for. What's, what's the problem? Well, the problem is Weiss uh, didn't immediately try to throw Hunter Biden in prison. In fact, they find uh, when Republicans found out that Weiss had negotiated the plea deal with Hunter Biden that recently fell apart in court earlier this summer, well, that's, well, that's when they decided, ah, uh, see, Weiss, uh, he's not our guy. He's not our guy. So now, McCarthy in his post said, quote, if Weiss negotiated the sweetheart deal that couldn't get approved, how can he be trusted as a special counsel? But you trusted him before. <laughs> I know. So, look, let, let's get to the details real quick. And just kind of refresh you uh, on the uh, plea deal. Hunter Biden was expected to plead guilty to misdemeanor tax charges as part of a plea agreement with prosecutors to avoid a felony gun charge. So basically, he had possession of a weapon while he was on drugs. Uh, funny enough, uh, these are these are Republicans that are saying there needs to be limits on the Second Amendment when it comes to Hunter Biden, but only when it comes to Hunter Biden. Ah, okay, got it. Right, right. Hilarious, right? The 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 hypocrisy on this one. Because again, it, it, a lot of the right wing. These same people are like, guns for everyone, at every, at anyone, everyone, all the time. The armed society, polite society, we must give everyone guns. Even if they're on drugs, except for Hunter Biden, because he was on drugs and had a gun. Obviously, we need to lock him up for life. Lock him up, lock him up. Okay, but, uh, but that's the, the weird situation <laughs> that we find ourselves in. Now, that said, that plea agreement 
fell apart. He pleaded not guilty after U.S. District Judge Mary Ellen Norieka, another Trump appointee, by the way, questioned the language of the agreement. According to NBC News, she had expressed concern about whether the agreement was constitutional, whether it truly gave Hunter Biden the legal protections that he was due, and whether it was airtight, meaning there could be questions raised in the future about what it actually covered. So again, this fell apart. Weiss had, as a prosecutor, negotiated with the defense for a plea deal, for him to take a plea deal. Uh, that's fairly common when it comes to trials, but nonetheless, um, Republicans saw that and they immediately began to hate him. I think he's deep state or trying to protect Hunter Biden for some reason from the law and now want him replaced, despite, of course, advocating for him pretty heavily in, to take this position before in the first place. Again, to me, it looks like moving the goalposts, but that's just me. They got who they wanted, but because the guy wouldn't throw the book at Hunter Biden and charge him with the, I think, maximum evidence or, or sentence they could come up with, now they want someone else. But here's the thing. I don't think they're ever going to be happy. The perfect person out there for Republicans when it comes to investigating Hunter Biden doesn't exist. It, it's not a real person. They would have to be someone who was so incredibly corrupt and vindictive that they would use their position to punish Hunter Biden, irrespective of the law, by the way, uh, and all in order to do something political, in order to harm Joe Biden's re-election chances and to perhaps even personally hurt, uh, hurt Joe Biden by locking away his son. Now, again, that's irrespective of the law. If, if a jury comes out and says, okay, yes, uh, Hunter Biden obviously did this and he should get some jail time, okay, fine, fine. I, again, I'm not going to argue with that because I'm not here to protect the president's son when the president's son did crimes and you know, got, is found guilty of said crimes. But I also am not the type of person that's going to want to throw the book at them because of their political positions. Uh, but Republicans, in a lot of these cases, they're not those type of people. They really do want to throw the book at him and give him the maximum sentence, at least in my mind. Um, and, and again, so let's be honest about what this is. It is absolutely political. And Lindsey Graham had mentioned it before, his political problems. No, no, what this is, is that it is a legal problem. This doesn't involve Joe Biden whatsoever. Joe, Joe Biden is not on trial here. Joe Biden is not the one that had committed any, any uh, crimes related to Hunter Biden. That's, that's the fact. That's the reality. This, again, is, is the president's very troubled son who had gotten himself into his own legal issues that didn't involve Joe Biden. The fact that this is being dragged into being a political issue for Joe Biden and an election issue for Joe Biden is ridiculous. It doesn't have anything to do with him. It doesn't have anything to do with the White House. It doesn't have anything to do with, again, the politics at all. It, it is a distraction. And again, just a way for Republicans to attack Joe Biden for what? Being a, a loving father? Uh, that's it. I mean, that actually kind of makes him... A little better in my eyes, even though I'm not the biggest Joe Biden fan. I, I did not support him during the Democratic primary. Uh, and I think that, uh, you know, he's leaving a lot up to be desired for uh, as uh, as president. <laughs> and I, again, that's just my honest personal opinion as someone who is far to the left of Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. But anyway, that said, this is just nothing more than Republicans using dirty politics in order to attack Joe Biden through his son, using his son. And it, it's the most disgusting kind of politics. So understand that it's never been about the law. It's never been about justice. It's always been about politics. 